All right, so chapter two, lesson four, is the percent equation. In the warm-up, it says a survey found that 16% of all seventh graders at Lincoln Middle School think that tarantulas are the scariest creatures. There are 150 seventh graders at the school. How would you write a percent equation to find how many seventh graders said that tarantulas are the scariest creatures? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do down here, it says solve for the part. Okay, once we solve for the part, then we'll, we'll start working with the numbers in here. So, we want to solve for the part. So, here's the part divided by the whole is equal to the percent over 100. Now, normally, you know, you guys, when we say percent, that's whatever number is in front of the percent sign, right? So, it's the number over 100. So, how do I get rid of... How do I get that part by itself? Remember, here's my cover-up. What do I need to get rid of? The hole, right? I need to get rid of the hole. So, because it says part divided by hole, how do I get rid of that denominator? The inverse of division is multiplication. So, we're going to multiply both sides by the hole. So here, the whole and the whole will cancel, and now we're left with the part is equal to the number over 100. So anytime you have a number over 100, that's the fraction form of the percent, right? So this is the percent. Times the whole. Now this, part equals percent times whole, this is the percent equation. That is the percent equation. Please make sure you have that written down, and please make sure you memorize it. Now, looking back at our word problem, it says that, um, let's see, what are we solving for? We're solving for um, how many... How many, let's see what it, how many seventh graders, how many seventh graders said tarantulas are the scariest? Okay, that's what we're solving for, right? Now, if I look at the rest of this, it says a survey found that 16% of all seventh graders at Lincoln Middle School think that tarantulas are the scariest. So 16%. think that tarantulas are the scariest, what is that? Percent, part, or whole? Of course, that's the percent, right? Because it says percent right next to it, right? Now, here it says there are 150 seventh graders at the school. Percent, I mean, part or whole? That is the whole, very good. And of course, the number that thinks that's, that um, tarantulas are the scariest, that is the part. Now, we're going to put that information into our equation, okay? So, what's the part? Oh, wait, before we do that, let's come up with our what number is question, okay? So, I want to show you something. So, with our what number is question, this would be, um, we're solving for the the part right here. So it says uh, the part is the what number is? 16% of the total 150 students, right? So that is our what number is question. What number is 16% of 150%, um, 150 students? So when I substitute in, What number is, that's going to be part. You should be writing this down. Is, what does is mean in math? Equals, 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? 
So is in math means equals, okay? So the percent, of course, that's your percent. And then what does of mean in math? Multiply, very good, multiply. And then of course, this last number over here is the of. That last number is the of number. So that is the whole. You see that? Look at the what number is question. Matches right up to the percent equation. Does everybody see that? All right. So now let's go ahead and substitute in. So the part is what we're solving for. That's our x. Equals the percent, which is... 16%, but of course the 16% we have to write as a decimal before we put it into the equation. We talked about that yesterday, right? So we need to move the decimal two places to the left, and then we'll take away that percent sign. So what goes in is 0 0.16 times the whole, which is 150. So when you multiply 0.16 times 150, what do you get? You get 24. 24 what? Students. Very good. 24 students. So now we're going to use the percent equation. Okay? In using the percent equation, we already talked about this. This is the percent equation. Part equals percent times whole, where the percent has to be written as a decimal before it goes into the equation. Okay? Now look at these number, what number is questions. Here we have three is what percent of six? Three is, three is, What percent, there's my unknown, there's my variable, what percent of times 6? Does everybody see how it matches up? Yeah. So same thing with this, with this one here. What number is, that's the part. Part equals. What number is? 50%, you've changed that to a decimal and then put it into the equation. Of, of course, means times 6. Does everybody see how it matches up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, let's take a look at the first example. Here, it says, what number is 12% of 150? Okay. So, just like we did in the warm-up, we're just going to match up. We're just going to substitute in what we know. So, we know what number is. That's the part. So part is equal to, now here is the percent, 12%. Now this is a typo in your book, guys. This is supposed to be 0 0.12, okay, it's 0.12, times the of number, which is 150. So that's times 150. So 0.12 times 150 is equal to 18. So 18 is 12% of 150, right? Now, I want you to remember that when you are putting a percent into an equation, it must be written as a decimal first. All right, so for example A, it says what is 6% of 200? So once again, what is, is the part, right? That's the part. The 6%, of course, is your percent. And your 200 is the whole. Okay? And then you know that is means equals. And of means multiplication. Very good. So now you have everything you need to write your percent equation. So here we go. What is? So x equals 6%. When we do 6%, 
you're going to move the decimal two places to the left and take away your percent sign. So what's going in there into the equation is 0 0.06. Very good. And then we're going to multiply that times 200. Very good. So now, what is 0 0.06 times 200? 12. Is everybody clear? This is not a word problem, so we don't need a label, right? Are there any questions? All right. Now, the example B says find 72% of 50. Now, remember what, way back when we said find, that's the same thing as what number is. Is that clear? So now we can put it into our equation. So what number is? So that's going to be our x equals. If you want to label it like this, you can do that. So you can stay straight, okay? So x equals the 72%. What do I do with that? Change it to a decimal. So you move the decimal two places to the left and take away the percent sign. All right. Then, so that's 0 0.72 times 50. So what do you get when you multiply 0 0.72 times 50? 36. Very good. Are there any questions? So for the next example, it says 21 is what percent of 40? And once again, part equals percent times whole. Okay? So the part is 21. That's the is number. Is equal to the percent. That's what we're looking for. So that's the, uh, the variable. Times the whole of, that's the of number. So that's times 40. So here, when I rewrite this, that says 21 is equal to 40n. You with me? So to get the n by itself, we divide by 40 on both sides. And we end up with 0 0.525. Now, we're looking for the percent, right? What did I have to do before I put that percent into the equation? Change it to a decimal, right? So, once I want to take that decimal out, I have to do what to it? Change it back to a percent, right? So, how do I change a decimal back to a percent? Move it to the right. So you're going to move the decimal to the right two places and add your percent sign. So here, this is one where you have that extra little step. That's 52.5%. Is everybody clear? Right here it says, remember, this is what I just talked about. Remember to, to write the percent or the decimal as a percent in your final answer. So you have to change the decimal back to a percent when you're solving for a percent. Okay? All right. Good. So here's the next two examples. We want to, um, we're solving for the percent. It says write an equation for each problem, then solve. So remember, the percent equation is percent, uh, part is equal to percent times whole, right? So part is equal to percent times whole. So now we're going to put the information that we know into that equation. So the percent is what we're solving for. What percent? So that's going to be our x right there. Of 40, that is the whole, right? So that's going to be times 40 is equal to is 9. So is equal to 9. That is the part. Is everybody clear? All right. So when I rewrite this, I've got 9 is equal to 40x. And now how do I get the x by itself? Divide, Divide by 
40. All right, on both sides. Very good. So the 40s will cancel, and we're left with x is equal to? 0 0.225. Very good. 0 0.225. Now, that is the decimal that I got in the equation. We're solving for the percent. So we need to change that decimal back to a percent. Very good. And we do that by moving the decimal two places to the right. And then we're going to add our percent sign. So our final answer then, and don't forget to put your, your percent sign on it, is 22 and a half percent. For the next example, example three, here we're solving for the of number, which is the whole, right? So when we substitute in, we have 13 is, so that's 13 equals 26%. Remember the 26, you have to, you have to change that percent to a decimal, so that's 0.26 of times the whole, the number, the of number. So that's the whole. So when we put that in, we've got 13 is equal to 0.26 times W. To get the W by itself, we're going to divide by 0.26 on both sides. Okay? When we do that, we end up with 50. Do I need to put a label on that? No. Okay? All right. Let's do one of these problems. All right. So... Once again, part is equal to percent times whole. That is our formula. That is our percent equation. So when we look at this, 39 is. That's the part, right? The percent is there, and the of number is what we're solving for. That's the whole, okay? So when we substitute in, we end up 39 equals 84 becomes what? 0.84, very good, times the whole, which is what we're solving for. Now, how do I get the x by itself? Very good on both sides. 0 0.84 on both sides. So, when we do that, these, those numbers cancel. So 39 divided by 0 0.84, 0 0.84 gives me what? 46.428 something, 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 right? Keeps on going, right? Okay. But up here it tells us to round to the nearest tenth. So here's the number that's in the tenths place. What, was, what does the number next to it tell me to do? Stay the same. Very good. So x is equal to... 46 point what? 4. 46.4. Is everybody clear? Awesome. All right, for example, four, it says a survey found that 25% of people aged 18 to 24 gave up their home phone and only use a cell phone. If 3,264 people only use a cell phone, how many people were surveyed? So here, when we look at the word problems, okay, it says that 25% um, of the people gave up their home phone and only used cell phones. Now, it also tells us that 3,264 people only use a cell phone. And the, what we're searching for is how many people were surveyed. So, if I think about this, The number of people surveyed is the whole 
the people who use the cell phone, only the cell phone, is the part. And of course, the 25% is our percent. So now we have our what number is question. 3,264 people is 25% of what number? So now we can put that information into our equation. So there's the equation. And then we end up, of course, when we put the 25% into the equation, we need to make sure that we change it to a decimal. So to get the W by itself, we'll divide by 0.25 on both sides, and we solve for the whole, which is 13,056 people who were surveyed.